take one family member, two family members, knock on all doors, and make sure that that new registration, because they, they may not announce to you on time, the PPC you have has expired. <laughs> The renowned godfather of Lagos, Bola Tinubu, who has ruled the mega city from his mansion on Bodilon Street, Ikoi, Lagos, for over 20 years, is back into the political game like he never took a break. Despite old age related illnesses that have limited his mobility, the Lion of Bodilon has expressed his dissatisfaction with just being a kingmaker and now wants to retire as a king. He has declared his intention to rule the country from Asurok in 2023. In this speech addressing Nigerians on January 10, 2023, Tinubu said he has the confidence and capacity to build on President Buhari's legacy, hinting it could be the best president ever to rule Nigeria. I've informed the pre uh, the Mr. President of my ambition and you don't expect more answers than that. But I've not informed the Nigerians yet. I'm still consulting. While there has been an uproar over his declarations, there are now reports that it may just be a distraction from what they have tagged Ashiwaju's grand plan, not just ruling Nigeria from Asorok. Interestingly, he is not the only one. His wife, Pastor Oluremi Tinubu, a third time seventh senator representing Lagos Central, is purported to be running again as a senator in 2023. Also, Jagaban's son, Shei Tinubu, is also planning to take over as governor of Lagos State come 2023. As what was deemed fiction began to form as facts, many have begun to ask the multi million dollar question. Will Tinubu and his family's plan to own Nigeria materialize in 2023? <laughs> Hello guys, it's Tikod here for African Glades. Ashiwajibola Ahmed Tinubu can be best described as the stranger who became a king in another man's land. For those who don't know the backstory, this was made possible by his late foster mother, Abibatu Mogaji, the former Ialoja of Lagos, who used her connections to help him become governor of Lagos State in 1999. For eight years and even after he stepped down in 2007, Tinobu had nothing to show for it, except, of course, the promise of the Mega City Master Plan. Neither did he deliver the 10,000 housing units for the poor he promised. Instead, he became Nigeria's biggest landlord. Months, even years later, he faced corruption charges, including embezzlement of public funds and drug trafficking. Shockingly, these charges did not stop him from becoming what many call the Godfather of Lagos. For over 24 years and still counting, Tinubu controls any and everything in Lagos, including who holds a traditional title and seat as governor of the state, from Babatunde Fashola, his successor, to Akimumi Ambode and Babajide Sonwolu. Through his position as a chieftain in the APC, he has managed to spread his tentacles to other regions and the national level, using his influence to install even more governors and, as we all know, the incumbent president of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari. Following calls for him to run as president, Tinubu ended his medical tourism in the US just in time to introduce himself as the newest candidate joining the 2023 presidential race. The Jagaban, who prides himself as a 69-year-old, boasted in a speech to Nigerians that he has the confidence, vision, and capacity to build on Buhari's legacy. I have the confidence, the vision, the capacity to rule build on the foundation of Mr. President and turn Nigeria better. Sheyi Tinubu, 
There are reports that Che Tunubu is being positioned to take over as governor of Lagos State in 2023. Interestingly, just like his father, the lawyer who carved a niche for himself in the media and advertising sector is not without a bad reputation. Cheyi Tinubu is currently serving as the emergency financial consultant to all local government and parastatals in Lagos State, which he allegedly earned through his father's corrupt practices. Just like his father, Cheyi has been deemed complicit in the 2020 Lekki Tollgate massacre of NSAS protesters as he owns the company that controls billboards at the toll gate. Before the horrific incident of October 20, 2020, the young father of two was loved by young Nigerians whom he related to. It looks like his political ambitions became flawed after the Lekki Tollgate incident, where justice did not prevail. Oluremi Tinubu Oluremi Tinubu, the wife of the Lion of Budelon, is also gearing to run as senator representing Lagos Central for the fourth time. Just like a controversial husband, Remy has spawned some controversies herself. Gone are the days when she used to be revered in Lagos, as now she has been deemed the Queen of Thugs. Even a recent award as the most impactful female senator at the Guardian's International Women's Day Summit in 2021 doesn't count. Oluremi Tinubu over the years gained a new reputation for being tribalistic, violent and utterly disrespectful. One too many times she attacked other senators. However, the disdain for her tripled after she was seen trying to shut down a fellow senator complaining about the worsening insecurity in the country. The Tinubu's family quest for power to eventually own Nigeria doesn't stop with the aforementioned three. For Lashade Tinubu, Ashiwaju's first daughter now serves as the Iyaloja of Lagos. Following the death of his foster mother, Abibatu Mogaji, the former Iyaloja, Tinubu used his influence to install his Fola Shade, his daughter, over what many terms as a strategy to acquire more power for his family and leverage on it during elections. Despite market men and women kicking against the decision because it was not a collective decision and she is not qualified in terms of age and market experience, she was forced upon them regardless. Unfortunately, despite the controversy surrounding her installation, Fola Shade continues to be a pain in the neck of market men and women in Lagos State. She initially imposed a levy that caused traders in Computer Village to sue her. In November of 2021, she shut down the Oyubo market for two weeks, seized goods and requested 5 million naira before reopening. However, all these controversies do not take the cake as much as her affair with Baba Oja of Oshodi, causing her to come under heavy criticism for cheating shamelessly while still in her husband's house. Meanwhile, relatives and friends are not spared from the Tinubu's family quest for power. According to Freedom Lagos Movement, the incumbent commissioner for women affair in Lagos State, Lola Konde, a former member of the Lagos State House of Assembly, is Tinubu's sister-in-law. Honorable Sukomi, the current member of Lagos House of Assembly representing Ikeja, is Tinubu's nephew. His daughter, Falashade's husband, Honorable Oyetunji Oladimeji Ojo, was a member of the House of Representatives representing Ikete State. Akim Muri Okwala who was imposed as the head of service against all civil service rules, is Tinubu's friend's son. The incumbent commissioner for establishment, Akionla Benson, was Tinubu's personal assistant. The incumbent commissioner for health, a three-time commissioner, Jide Idris, is Tinubu's cousin. The incumbent chairman of the Oshodi local government, Bolaji Ario, was also Tinubu's personal assistant. The incumbent commissioner for housing, a two-time commissioner, Balaon Lawal was ADC to Bola Tinubu. Oando supplies all the fuel used by the BRT buses in Lagos, and Wale Tinubu, the CEO of Oando, is Tinubu's younger brother. A pseudo company called Alpha Beta collects at least 10% of the Lagos state revenue, running into hundreds of billions of naira in fees in less than 15 years for doing practically nothing. The state still pays the Lagos Inland Revenue Service LIRS, another 10% as administrative fees to collect the same revenue. The landed property of Lagos State Polytechnic, Ecosi Campus, was converted into private property to establish a television station, TVC, owned by Bola Tinubu. Even more recently, a renowned thug working for Tinubu, M. Luomo, is gearing to become king of Oshodi. But as we all know, this is just the tip of the iceberg. As Tinuba and his family grand plan continues to unravel, many Nigerians have begun to swear that they would not cast a vote in favor of him, his wife or his son, with many anchoring their decision on the following. 
The era of governance being a family legacy in Nigeria is coming to an end. With Bari's messy administration, Nigerians are finally woken from their slumber. They have chosen to use their power as an electorate to bring in leaders who can actually deliver, not one riding on a family legacy. Tinubu and his family fall into this category. So far, they have offered nothing. And these, according to many, will not change should they retain or get to power again. It's no longer a secret that Tinubu's family are not lovers of the people, but lovers of power and their pockets. It's still believed that Tinubu deployed soldiers to carry out the massacre that claimed the lives of many innocent NSAS protesters in October of 2020, as the protest was causing him to lose more money on toll fees. It is believed he ordered the removal of cameras at a toll plaza ahead of his game plan. His son, Shei Tinubu, who owns the media company managing the toll gate billboards, was also deemed complicit and he had to flee the country at the height of the uprising. To date, Shei and his family never acknowledged the massacre. As such, many have branded them anarchists, who will turn Nigeria into a lawless state should he become president with his wife and son in other strategic positions. What do you think about the Tinubu's family plan to own in Nigeria? Do you think Remy Tinubu can become a senator again? Do you think Shei Tinubu can become governor of Lagos State? Lastly, would you be surprised if they use money and power to win their respective positions? I see all the title of Ashu and you of Lagos. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm still a Jagaba. Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like, and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African political stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video to keep you updated. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.